Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting Puzzle Squad video. Today, Puzzle Squad is solve- I actually have a new thesis at the top, I say Puzzle Squad solves Deckscape that's... behind the curtain. So that's uh, we have some new branding with, with uh, Puzzle Squad solves. That's how we're like, we're being optimistic right off the get-go and just assuming that we're gonna nail that's this. That's a lot of expectation. That it is. is not I mean, fair. I, I, so this one doesn't have a difficulty rating. But so we're not going to solve it. It does have from ages 12 to 99, which we both fall into. We're getting closer to the 99 than we were the 12. Shut up. It's just how time Shut goes. Shut your mouth right now. And it has a little squiggle for an hour. Um, oh, just sorry, I got a the furnace is going to turn on. And this is like the loudest furnace in the world. It's all connected to the stream room. It's all just one big room. That's just how it goes. Amazing. Um, but this is our first time playing one of these deckscape games. I was looking because we've expressed, frus express, expressed frustration with the uh, exit games recently. We're over it. So we thought, I was like, okay, maybe there's some other stuff. And I, uh, I saw these deckscape ones. It's an entire escape room and just a deck of cards and one little prop that we are not allowed to open until we are told to open. So I know how, nothing how this is going to work, how the puzzle language is going to go, but that's the real fun part of all this. That's, that's why we play puzzles, right? Or we just do it to feel bad about ourselves. I don't know. I'm yeah. pretty sure I just do it because I don't have any other friends. That's fair. And that's... I'm like, I guess I need to leave my house at least once a week. Yeah, no, that's fair. I, I never leave my house because all my friends come to me. So <laughs> I think I'm going a little bit stir crazy. I tell Julie that my, my the thing I look most forward to each week is my walk to Walmart. So, you know, that's just, uh, yeah, I'm going through stuff. But <laughs> we have the camera here. It's a little bit shaky if we move this table. So Sorry. we'll hopefully not move it too much as we go. Oh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But... Uh, caution. Do not look through this deck nor shuffle the cards. Each card shows a number from 1 to 60 in the top left corner, in the upper left corner. If a card has been altered, uh, ask a non-playing person to order them. I did not touch these cards, I just opened them up. And, uh, we have this envelope, which we cannot open until we are instructed to. So then I remove the deck from the Wait, game box, then flip this card. Did we do this already? Uh, they, uh, they haven't been altered in their order. I think this is like if you... Oh, if it has been changed. Yeah, but they are looking okay. totally good. I want, I was just reading. And there's a crap ton of cards, so we're gonna see how this goes. So remove the deck from the game box, then flip this card. Deck Proceed screen. to the next card. Wow, they have to You gotta read the brain. whole thing. Uh, a pocket is behind the curtain. A pocket escape room. Authors, lots of names. Uh, Martino Ciacieri. Silvano Sorrentino. English adaptation. All right. Important Pro note. Proceed to the next card. All right. This deck contains a story with many puzzles to be solved in as little time as possible. Shit. This, <laughs> this game is for one to six uh, players and lasts about 60 minutes. This is a cooperative game. You win or lose altogether as a team. Before playing, put the following things on the table. I'm going to pause the video as we get this all set up. Oh, that's going to bug me. What's gonna bug you? Is it too small? Yeah, it's it's not. It's just a little bit too big. I think that's better. I okay. think that's better that's too. That's better. All right. All right. We have what we need here. Um, also, I noticed that lately this camera's been going out of focus, but it looks pretty okay right now. All right. Once you re have uh, everything you need to play, continue reading aloud. Flip this card. This game is inspired by the real by real escape rooms. They are a form of entertainment where a group of people are trapped inside of a room or cornered in an apparently hopeless situation and try to escape within the time limit. In order to escape, the players have to solve puzzles, make smart use of the items they find, and understand the plot of the story. No specific knowledge is required. We can proceed to the next card. Anyone can do this. Anyone can do this. That means we're anyone. We are. We can do this for sure. I All right. No a magic show. You're really lucky to find inside a mysterious envelope in the mail free tickets for what promises to be an exciting night. The famous illusionist Lance Oldman will celebrate his 50 year long career with a final show at a temporary theater in New York. Flip this card to look at the ticket to the show. Keep it. It may be helpful. Ooh. Oh, that's a puzzle if I've ever seen one. So we got keys, we got a bell, we got a magnet, an apple. A music note, a trophy, a lightning bolt, and a clover. We have seven, eight. It goes starts at seven. So there's no more. There's yeah. no jacks and no aces. No jacks. Ooh. Good call. He also can confirm that is an old man. That is Lance. He looks okay. like an old man. In this game, there are two kinds of cards: puzzles and items. 
Puzzles show you a picture and a question to be answered. You can freely discuss the solution, and once you all agree, you can flip this card to check if you were correct. Flip the card to check your math. This means that you only have one chance to solve each puzzle. If you answered wrong, it counts as an error. I remember reading this, that you only get like one shot at each puzzle. Oh, Items are item card cards required to solve some puzzles. When you find an item, keep it visible on the table. Don't discard it. It could be useful more than once. Be careful. If you try to solve a puzzle when you don't have the required item, you'll be penalized double. Flip this card. I'm okay. so nervous. After a short wait, you hear a drum roll. The lights dim and Lance Oldman walks on stage to the audience's applause. The show begins. The next card is a puzzle. Are you ready to play? Carefully read the next card. Discuss to find a common answer. Flip the card to check the solution. I'm going to start the timer now here, too. Ready? Oh, my God. In this game... Oh, wait. This, this one. one. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, the magician says, What is magic? It's the impossible that comes true. He puts his arm into his hat and pulls out a lot of money that he throws out over the audience. How can you tell that the banknotes used in this magic trick are fake? Ooh. I don't know. We're not American. I'm going to say, looking at it right now, the registered number on them is all the same. It is all the same. Yeah. So I think that that would be my guess. Yeah. I mean, I would agree. All right. All the banknotes have the same serial number. That's why we're called Puzzle let's Squad. Let's go! Let's go! And we're not called Sucky Squad. We should be. <laughs> uh, this is a facility money that the magician uses in the show. This puzzle wasn't very hard. Ah, oh, frick. However, even the best might fail sometimes. Error. Each time you give an incorrect, uh, incomplete answer, you must mark an X on the score sheet. It's on the next card. When you make an error, you always follow the instructions on the bottom of the card. If your answer is wrong, mark an X and proceed to the next card. The score sheet. Lance Oldman transforms the last banknotes into doves that fly behind the curtain, then he bows to the applause of the audience. The magician now turns on some giant screens, explaining they'll be used for a trick at the end of the show. Under your seat, you find a score sheet used to track the uh, paths, passing of time. So we have hours and minutes to flip this card to look at the score sheet, keep it the whole game, proceed to the next card. Here's our score, sh score sheet. When you get a wrong answer, you mark an X on the line. So mark time here now. One minute and 38 seconds. Or does it want us to put the actual We can do 1027, yeah. Okay. So here behind the curtain, we're recording this at 1027 in the morning. Because that's... So I guess I can actually also just, I'll reset this. There we go. Boom. All right, now it's for real. Um, okay, the faster you complete the game, the better your score. What right. the frick? Squat. Under your seat, you also find a strange piece of crumpled paper. It seems the magician has lost his notes for the show. Clue card. Keep this card to the side. On both sides, it shows some hints related to the puzzles. Read them if you want an easier game. You don't have to mark an X or read a clue. You cannot use a mirror to help you. Okay, so that's the clue card. It's on both sides. We're not using this. I'm once again putting that all the way over there. We he don't use it. clue cards he here. He threw it over there. All right. <laughs> the magician's explanation. Eight. And now let me explain. A good magic trick consists of three phases. In the first phase, I show you something ordinary. Look carefully, then flip this card. Okay. So there's a cute cat. Some sunflowers in a pink thing. A, a rabbit in a hat. One ear is going like this. There's a ball, a red ball on a glass cube, and a green lamp with a yellow base. And the tablecloth is blue. These are all the things that we're going to internalize before we flip the card. Shall we flip it? Mm, I guess, yeah. With the second phase, the ordinary becomes extraordinary. In a moment, everything is elsewhere, but you still do not applaud. Proceed to the next card. Okay, so the cat is walking away. These two have switched. That's on this side as yeah. well. And the oh. ball is inside the cube. Okay. Because making something disappear is not enough. It also has to reappear, says the magician while waving his magic wand. Check the previous card. What thing has disappeared from the stage the magician is going to make reappear? What? The table. The table. Oh, the, the table. Same. Oh, it's so good. The table has. All right. That's good. Good call. Let's flip this. The table has disappeared. Wow, she's so good. Okay, so I think we don't keep the blue tops. 
This one is a yellow. I don't think we, I think we'll know when it's an item. It'll tell us. I yeah, think. I, I think know. so. I think that's a safe call. We got it. So if you look carefully, you notice the table legs are not visible anymore. The cloth is suspended magically in the air. And the magician holds what seems to be a magic wand in his hands, but is actually a leg from the table, which is hidden behind the curtain. If your answer is wrong, mark an X. No, we were right. We All were thanks so to Phaedra. I wouldn't have noticed. I would have been like, the cat's walking away. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh... Here, the box and the ghost swords. Here's the next trick. My assistant has entered the narrow chest and I can stick five sharp swords in without hurting her. Someone has helping the magician in this trick. Which detail proves that? Is it this hand? It it's works. this hand. It, it might be wrong. Yeah, one of the hands is wrong, right? Because like... Yeah. So how do we know if it's a left hand, right? So uh, this one's a right hand. This one, I mean, that one is... Should be like this. <laughs> like this? Yeah, like, it, it's. I think the hand, the hand's just fucky. Everything else looks strange to me. It looks normal to me. I don't understand. Okay. Um... But we don't need to rush, right? We don't need to rush. No, but we do. Someone is helping the magician in this trick. Which detail proves that? I think. Can I look at this a little closer? Yeah, of course, of course. No peeking, chat. I'm not looking. Uh, I mean, this one has painted nails. In this one, you can't see them, and it looks like a more masculine hand. I agree with that. So that's. It's got to be the hands. Yeah. Yeah. The assistant appears to have two right hands. Okay, so it was two right hands. Perfect. Um, the two hands belong to the girl hiding behind the box. The assistant instead slipped her arms in the two holes on the back of her box. That's why the swords do not hurt her. Mm, very they're behind nice. the yeah, box. They're very nice. Okay, put that one over here. We did it. The clock with no hands. We went from two hands to no hands. The magician says, and now for my next trick, we try mentalism. Choose any one of the 12 hours, then move your eyes clockwise as many hours by the time you chose. Keep in mind the new time reached and then flip this card. Okay, this is going to be fucked because it's always going to be the same answer somehow. Just, it's going to get us and we're going to be like, what the hell? This is, this is devil work. All right, what number do you want to start with? Six. Six? So then we stop at 12? Because <laughs> if you choose 12, you stop at 12. If you choose at 11, you stop at 10. If you choose at nine, you stop at eight, seven? I don't know. You choose. I, I, I'm too scared. I'm too scared. This one scares me too much. I don't want this demon to invade my psyche. He already has. Uh, let's look at his hands. He's got five ha fingers up. Do we do five? Sure. We, we, we have him trick us? Oh, that's because you're right. You're thinking like this isn't actually this isn't actually magic. We should be paying attention to the mentalism of the card. Maybe. Hold on. Let me. Can I look at this card? Yeah, because this one is the same. Like, these two dudes have the same yeah. amount of hands up, but this one We should one's go for different. the art. Okay, so we should do five, is what you're saying? Sure. That's so what I then think. we go uh, one, two, three, four, five, and we say 10 o'clock. Move your eyes counterclockwise as many hours indicated by the time you reached. Finally, move them again seven hours counterclockwise. So. The new time reached? So yeah, so 10. 10, we go 10 counterclockwise. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're at 12. And then finally move them again, 7. seven. 1, so. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're at 5, which is the number that we started with. I want to throw up. So proceed to the next card. <laughs> 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 You're staring at 5 o'clock. The audience applauds. I mean, yeah, it is. That is. Is this one of those things where it always works that way? Let's do one. No. Okay, we'll just... I don't okay, want to we'll, wreck it. We'll trust the magic. I don't want to wreck the okay. magic. If you're not staring at five o'clock, you've performed the instructions poorly and ruined the magician's trick. Mark an X and flip this card for the explanation. If the trick was successful, how did the magician manage to read your mind? He didn't. He didn't. He... He did that. He, he did was like five, yeah. Fingers? Yeah, that's the classic... Fingers. I've watched Penn and Teller uh, bullshit yeah. and they're... Oh, not bullshit. The Fool Us or whatever it is. And the mentalist ones, they'll all like, yeah, you can't. Uh, he tricked us. Let's see if it's actually his hands. So how did Mission manage to read her mind? So, yeah, it was his hands. Trick is because no matter what time he chose... Oh, so I guess we were wrong on that one. You are correct. We are incorrect. Yeah. One X. 
So but. we actually, we got ahead of ourselves. Like we went too deep. Yeah. Uh, the first two steps bring your eyes always to 12 o'clock. But you were right, though, because you had said that it should yeah. always... Okay, you know what? Cross that off. Cross that off. We were both... We were just in disagreement, as Puzzle Squad so often is. And we've... We're going to put our teams together. We did it. Uh, the magician able to mass the simple math, math trick and make it look like an astonishing trick. All right, next card. The show does not really take off. These tricks are not up to the fame of the magician. Lance continues. For the next trick, we will pick random numbers to see who among the audience will join me on stage. Numbers drawn are for the ones for your seats. Well, that's embarrassing. The magician invites you. Please leave your mobile phones, keys, and wallets with my assistants. Don't you want to be magicians for a night? Come, I will make you fly. I'll make you fly on stage. Oh, good. You take the stage, and the magician makes you sit behind a curtain. His assistants come up through a trap door and secretly hook you to transparent wires hanging from the ceiling. And the magician ends his introductory monologue and removes the curtain so that the audience can see you again. The wires begin to stretch. You feel yourself lifting into the air. While the audience starts to applaud, there is suddenly a spark, then a thud, and immediately afterwards, you see curtains are on fire and the door splitting into a dark and the floor splitting into a dark hole. The wires break and you fall below the stage into the darkness. Luckily, you land on something soft, but it's almost completely dark around you. Something went wrong during the show. No, this is the the real show. He's giving us one last show. Before he murders us? No, no, no. Before we're, he's like, you see, that's what magic is. Pitch dark. You're in the proscenium. Um, the flames of the fire illuminate a panel near you. Which of the three yellow buttons turns on the light? It's not. What? I mean, the green one. Wouldn't it? the green one but the green one doesn't i know that it doesn't Justin. go in <laughs> the green one doesn't go into it but maybe it goes in and out and back in i don't know i don't know i don't know which of the three buttons turns on the line i mean the red one goes into it but so does the blue one but the blue one doesn't go into this box oh my god so that's why i think it's the red one i'll let you do it i have no red know. trunk Let's go! Nice. Uh, under one of the two plates, the red wire bends and changes the color. It's connected to the bulb. The other two wires are apparently not connected to the bulb. Yes! That makes sense. Let's go! A mysterious passage. You turn on the lights, but you cannot go back to the stage because of the fire. You must follow a tunnel that leads you to a small hallway. He's really just taking us into his kill room. He's going to murder us. Yeah. Leading to the magician's dressing room. <laughs> He's just going to be naked in there. He's like, here's my final <laughs> trick. You enter and close the door behind you to keep the fire and smoke from coming in. Then you start looking around. Flip this card and look at the dressing room. Keep it for the whole game. And proceed to the next card. Mm, good. May 20S. Eight? It's, no, it's got to be th or two. three. I think it's a three. Oh, you're it's, right. It's flipped it's because three. of that. Yeah. Okay, we got a little plant. We got two drawers. We got a little thing with a book. There's a little like, grid There's on a it. Lock. Yep. That's where the smoke's coming through. Some sort of thing under it. Yep. And a and door. This looks like a trap door. Definitely. Okay, we'll keep that. You notice that there's another door through, uh, which you could maybe find a way out, but it is locked. You try to break it down, but it seems hard as a wall. Your only hope to escape is, to copy of the, is that a copy of the key is hidden in the room. Your attention is just captured by a trunk, a magic chest nearly two meters high, and a, by a mysterious book and a dressing table with a large mirror. Separate the next purple... Okay, this is a lot of work. One second. Gotta read this one up close. Separate the next purple cards, the three yellow cards, the level orange cards, and the 14 blue cards, and the rest of the deck without turning them or alternating their order. Uh, and sort them by into five different colored stacks. Okay. <laughs> this is getting a little bit wild. And then 47 to 60. Perfect. Okay. So now, here, I'm just going to take these ones over there. So now we can read the top card of the stacks in any order. So we're like, we basically, we, we, we just completed the tutorial, and now we're actually into the first, uh, into the puzzle. Want to do yellow? Yeah, let's do yellow. There. Okay, the closed trunk. In the corner of the dressing room, there is a trunk locked by a numerical lock. Which combination of digits will open the trunk? Okay. No idea. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Next. <laughs> the mysterious book. 
This strange book appears to be a diary. You do not know if it is appropriate to snoop through the belongings of a magician, so flip this card only if you want to start reading it. I mean, I'm going to read fucking anything if they give it in front of me. I know, like, what the hell? But we'll check out the other stuff first, just to be, like, just to have an, the mask of politeness. Sure. The exit door. The white door of the dressing room seems to be the only possible exit, but this is, it is very solid and it is locked. Flip this card only if you've recovered the key. Okay, well, I have a key in my pocket that we can just use to open it. Incorrect. We have the mirror. Uh, the solid cabinet might hide something. Which bulb needs to be unscrewed to open the drawers of the dressing room table? What the fuck? No idea. I want to look at it, though. I want to just look. I want to look at them, like, up close. You can read that one. The magic chest. You find a box. You find a small box near the magic chest that contains some gems in the shape of broken hearts. Which two gems, when inserted into the black hole, create a complete heart? Oh, okay. I mean, right now these two look like they fit. Yeah. Do any of the other ones fit? This one doesn't fit with anything. Neither does this one because it's round. And then this one and this one doesn't fit with anything. Alright, so it's these two. Alright. Ta-da! These two gems form the shape of a complete heart. Yes! The hey, we need that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the mysterious heart. By inserting the heart, it illuminates and reveals a strange green circuits connected to some buttons. You think that maybe one of the buttons must be pressed, but they all look the same. Perhaps by using the right item, you can identify exactly what button is connected. Okay, well, we have the, 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 that's a, that's a clubs, right? Mm-hmm. We don't have any of the club symbols on this part, but we do Seven. have clubs. We have that, and then we have that. And then there's also the king and, and the, king. there's two, two kings. kings. Three, three kings of clubs on there. Interesting. And three queens of spades. Interesting, okay. A 10, a 10, and a 10 of spades. So a lot of similar shit three here. Three nines of hearts, which leaves the seven, the eight. I guess that is the seven, like it looks a little bit fucky. And that one. So it's a seven of diamonds. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, so seven of diamonds, seven of clubs, and an eight of hearts are the only ones that don't have duplicates. Which interesting. is interesting, but yep. not helpful. But, but interesting. I was thinking, like, we have a club here, mm -hmm. which you can barely see, but that's a club. It also could be a clover. I, I read sure, it as a clover. Sure, sure. Clover. I mean, it is different so you're than thinking if like it's maybe, a club. So you're thinking, like, also maybe even like this, it could be the one that doesn't appear anywhere else? Maybe. Maybe. I think that's a fair, like, at least, like... But I'm also looking at this, and if you look really... I don't know if you can even see that. Oh, my God. It is an actual clover, and not... Not a club? Not a club. Okay. But I, I like that. We can at least... Uh, I think that's a good... Good part. We also got this, which I think we also can't... There will be some stuff on this, too. Do we want to open the driver? No, not yet. I okay. don't think we should. I don't think we should yet. <laughs> I mean, if someone leaves their diary in front of me, I'm gonna, I'm know, gonna open it. I know, I know, I know, I know. That's just because I like literature. I'm not Snoopy. I just like literature. By inserting the heart, it illuminates and reveals strange green circuits connected to some buttons. You think that maybe one of these buttons must be pressed, but they all look the same. Perhaps by using the right item, you can identify which button is actually connected to the heart. So there has to be an item. The solution does it say item on the top, or does it just say what just it is? This is what it is. Nothing. I think that's all that we have. <laughs> I think so too. Oh, is that one the yellow card? It is, but I don't think it actually. I don't know if the top actually matters, but that is yellow. It doesn't say that it's anything. Yeah, I don't think the, I don't think the top actually has anything to do with it. Cause this was for the banknote one. Mm. I think it, when it tells us to keep it, like it told us to keep the room and this, I think those are items. Cause this one says keep it for the remainder of the show, right? Keep the keep it for the whole game. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put this over here. All right. Well. I'm going to go back to the Magician's Diary and say, Phaedra, please let me read the man's diary. No, two, one, four, three. 
Seven, maybe a seven? Mm, maybe, yeah, two, seven, four, three. Here you go, team. There also looks like there's a one in there. Two, seven. Oh, I mean, it's without anything? It's without any, any dots. Any dots. In it. Okay, so, yeah, good you're call. right, it is a seven. Two, two seven, seven, four, four three. three. Okay, zoop! Let's, Let's go! go! The digits can be read by looking at the trunk and ignoring the shapes containing a pearl. Let's go. Okay, get out of here, mysterious heart. No one likes you. I do. Uh, inside the trunk. The trunk contains several decks of playing cards, but which one... But one is particularly could be useful. Which one? Oh, I don't fucking know, man. Oh, this one. Mm-hmm. Because it's the one that we too. have here. <laughs> but I don't know if we're supposed to know that. I think... Oh, I man, we get this. We get this. Okay. So I think it's got to be that it. one. No. The deck card is the most useful. The same decoration of the pack you can find in the game box. Take the pack contained in the game box and open it. Inside you'll find three special cards. Keep them. They will be indispensable. I'm excited about it. All right, proceed to the next card. Among the decks in the trunk, you also find a strange picture. It was probably used in the past for some kind of magic trick. Oh, we got the bulbs. Mm -mm -mm. Notably, his thumb is covering, covering the corner the one. Corner one. Fill this card to look at the magic picture. Keep it the whole game. Right now, focus on the other stacks. All right, for this card to look at the magic picture. Oh, there it is. What the? Oh. Yes. Okay, so we got some magic cards here. Okay. Oh, do you see it? What the fuck? This is science. It's like moving what the hell do any of these change any of the lights change no they all look here might be easier if we go this way mm, different yeah okay so this one's okay um so they say look at other stacks for right now so why don't we do that do we want to try the mirror what if we try the spade on the spade? Ah. Ooh, good call, good call. But that didn't do anything, did it? It did absolutely nothing. I mean, it covers the spade, like, perfectly. It does. I don't know what that means, because it doesn't do anything for me. Oh, uh, no, it, co it covers up three of the tracks. But so it doesn't cover that one. it's got to be the top one. corner one? Yeah. Hopefully. This one. I think, that's a good, I think that's a good... I think it's a good... That's a good... Okay, we'll go with that one. This one! Thank you. The rank button is this one. By rolling the five of clubs, complete the central heart, you notice that there's only one button connected to the heart by a path that is not interrupted by the symbols. This one's doing a great job of making me feel really good about myself. I know. If your answer is wrong, mark an X. If you do not have the five of clubs, mark an additional X and flip this card back over. If you have it, proceed to the next card. Boop, -ba -boop. Oh, look at that, a cute little bunny rabbit. Hello, bun bun. The chest changes shape. After pressing the button, the blocks of the magic chest slide and reassemble the figure of a man. Um, there's a niche uh, there's a niche containing a toy bunny near the hand. Flip this card over and look at the toy bunny and keep it for the whole game. Aww. There's definitely. T O. Oh, there's Julie Rakin. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, Interesting. Six plus nine does not equal seventeen, right? Correct. Six plus nine says so it's fifteen. Correct. On the side of the chest, there's a magic formula. By pressing the green button, you hear a recorded voice say, the case will open only when all adds up correctly. You could probably use an item to change the formula. Which item do you use to do that and how? Nope. <laughs> oh, it's so cool when you look at it like this. Oh, that's, that's making so me cool. feel ill. Um, I feel like I'm like a, like a, like a android. When I look through like that. Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> You're like, stop it, Justin. Who stop are you, it. Justin? That's not gonna. Okay. Do let me look at this one. T O dash. Three. Oh. It kind of looks like it's supposed to say toilet. That's what I. Was okay. Thinking. Okay. We're the same. We're the same. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Okay. I don't know if that does anything. Toy bunny. Okay. Um, the mirror. Let's do it. I don't know if we have it yet. I think we do. I think we gotta read the book. Look how many cards are in this stack. Do you think it's him just scolding us for reading the book the whole time? 
Among the decks in the trunk, you also find a strange picture. It was probably used in the past for some kind of magic trick. Flip this card and look at the magic picture. Keep it for the whole game. It might be useful. Like, honestly, that's the... That's the easiest one. It looks like it's too easy. It looks like it's too easy. It really does. Like, yeah, because the finger's over it. It's like, do that one. But, like, there's also this one, which to me implies... Oh, man, I guess there's the numbers on it. There's the lines on it, right? What happens if you perfectly line up the lines with it? Looks like nothing, right? Oh, there's arrows. Yeah, circling around it. Showing you which direction to unscrew it. Okay. So. But does it change depending on the way you go? No. So it's it's counterclockwise. It's counterclockwise. Okay, counterclockwise. Let's write that down. Yeah, none of these other ones look different. It's just the fact that it's spinning around. So the bulb is counterclockwise. And it's gotta be that top corner one. It really does, I don't know. Sure, I mean, I'll, I'll go. We have no X's, I'll take an X just in case. Okay. Oh no! This bulb has to be unscrewed. This one. Why that one? I don't know, let's find out. Moving the black stripe card over the magic picture as indicated by the black arrow, you can identify, uh, there isn't one on there. You can identify the bulb that has been, has to be unscrewed. It's the only one that emits light that turns in the opposite direction. Oh, interesting. I we did not notice that. So I guess we'll mark now an X. Now I see it, now yeah. I see it, yeah, you're right. All right, we got one X. I mean, that's all right, that's I'll all right. I'll allow it. Uh, but we don't get an additional black X because we have the right card. So that's sick. Hell yes. So we proceed to the next one. All right, we'll take that loss. You unscrew the bulb and a mirror plate suddenly detaches. Behind it, there is a red button that opens the drawers. You decide to keep this makeshift mirror made opaque by the smoke in the room. Fill this card to look at the opaque mirror. Keep it for the whole game. It might be useful. Proceed to the next card. Oh my <gasps> god. How, how do they keep doing this? Hello! Hi! <laughs> Okay, that's fucked. That's fucked. This is fucked. I like it. I feel like this one's like looking into, this one's doing something with our souls that I don't dig. Oh, you're trying to see the reflection of the rabbit? No, doesn't do anything. It just looks like it says toilet backwards. <laughs> All right, the Japanese box. In the drawer to the right, you find a strange box. It does not seem to have an opening. Oh, here, let me get it on camera for all you at We're home. We're doing a great job putting this on camera today, aren't we? It is a tough one, because the cards like you have to be like. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, it does not seem an opening, but you shake it. You can tell there's something inside. How can you, do you open it without forcing it? I don't fucking know. How am I supposed to know? Let's look at it up close. Sorry, everyone. Magnets. Yeah, probably. It's gotta be magnets. Shine the mirror at it. Did that do anything? No. Didn't think so. How about the, how about this guy? Oh, sure. We can check it out. Nope. So cool, though. It's so cool. You're going to keep that forever, aren't you? I you know what? I might. And Julie's going to be like, please get rid of the smelly car <laughs> in like 10 years. Why in your wallet? <laughs> I should just gave Gary with me in my wallet. And I can like, show it to random people. Just take it out and be like, Whoa. I'm like, yeah, look how cool this is. And they're like, all right. All right, Grandpa. Okay. So we have the magic formula, which I still don't know how we correct this. Use an item. Which item do you use? The mirror? Mm, oh, maybe the mirror. 17. Mm, it's gibberish. <laughs> what about the bunny? So the bunny the bunny came from this one, so I don't think the bunny the bunny might be linked. I we also could read the man's diary. You can read the man's diary, but if we don't have everything, I'm blaming this X on you. All right. Jesus Christ. In this diary, I wrote down my best tricks. 
I have not yet written the full explanations. I fear that my secrets might end up in the wrong hands. I prefer to keep my secrets here in my head. After my last performance, I'll take the time to complete this book and give it to my successor, that they can carry on with my magic. If you're holding this book, na uh, this book, you now have the opportunity to discover my tricks. Approach them one by one as if they were puzzles and find the solutions. Take your time to practice. You must learn to walk before you can learn to fly. Is that why we almost died in that, well, a fiery, that's, I think that, burning flame? I think that's him being a little bit cheeky, being like, and that's why I chose you. Because we got special tickets to the show. We were just, like, hanging out, you know? Not somebody like, hey, I got some free tickets for yeah, the show. Yeah, we got, we got uh, mailed them. Strange Clouds. This, the, this book, uh, the page is colored in red. Uh, you follow the magician and say that you can turn a special card into a six of hearts. How do you bring up a six of hearts on the page? Oh, there's one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. That way. Here, here, you're better at this shit. I do the math and the... I do the yeah. math and the word puzzles. Like... One, two, three... And then the bottom two uh -huh. are hearts like that? Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Cool, all right. Oh, it looked just like it. You need to probably position the special card resembling the Six of Diamonds on the book. If your answer is wrong, mark an X. If you do not have the Six of Diamonds, mark an additional X and flip this card back over. If you have it, proceed to the next card. Fooled ya. Gotcha. The Four Glasses. <clears throat> the page of this book shows you the starting positions of a pub trick. You can touch only one of the glasses on the counter. Your goal is to make all the arrows printed on the poster on the back wall point in the same direction. No, We can, we incorrect, can only touch incorrect, one incorrect, glass. Incorrect. How, do, How you do, you do you do that? Yeah, but can't you touch one glass and pour water in a different glass? I see what you're saying. But wouldn't that then flip... That would then flip that one this way. You can only touch one glass. So th I think it is definitely going to be like the pouring the water. Oh, it, I know what it is. It's pour half of the uh, in into the each other of those. Two? Yeah, because then those will flip and point that way. Mm -hmm. And that one will. Flip and then you just that put that one, one back right. down. That's. I mean, yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Oh. Take the glass containing the water. Pour half the liquid into the two glasses next to it, and finally put the empty glass back in place. There's the hint. Hey, there is the hint. Look at that. The water will make the arrows appear reversed horizontally, and this way all the arrows will point to the left. The calendar hanging in the dressing room suggested this optical phenomenon. In fact, the calendar marks the 23rd of May, but a full glass of water makes it look like the 22nd. All right. You know what? We solved that. Puzzle Squad. Mm. This is Puzzle Squad Swell's deckscape behind the curtain. Between the pages of the book, you flip the page and find a piece of paper tucked into the book. You unfold it and find out that it is a page from a catalog of special props for magicians. There are many curious objects for sale. Flip this card and look at the catalog page. Keep it for the whole game. It might be useful. Oh. I magnet. Fucking god. <laughs> Yo! Alright, so the modular key is $31. For your escapology tricks, it is broken into three pieces. The parts are very easy to reassemble. That's probably how we open the door once we get there. Yeah, a key? You think? Justin? You can't do this. Hey, we're Justin. Team, we're team Phaedra. I'm saying that key in particular, not just a key opens mm -hmm. the door, just that one in particular. Mm -hmm. Japanese box. It can only be opened by passing a magnet over the lid in order to unlock the iron cylinder that holds the box closed. Invisible ink. Any word written with this ink is invisible to the human eyes. In order to read something with invisible ink, illuminate with, pa with a page with a light of a hot flame. All right, let's buy a catalog then. On this page of the book, there is a challenge. How can you temporarily change both the value and uh, suit of these two cards at the same time using an object that you have with you? Well, it's obviously with our cool thing. No. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> he said. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fuck. Mirror? Ta-da. <laughs> Ta-da. The, the heart. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The heart is wrong. The heart is fucky. But, like, that could be fun. Alright, watch this chat. What? That doesn't do anything, but it's neat, isn't it? Is it is really cool that we can do this. So, okay. do we say magnets? On the page of this book, there's a challenge. I mean, yeah, do you just have to say magnets? Yeah. Do we have to buy it? I think we just say magnets. Magnets. How do they work? We don't have it. Okay. We don't have it! Cost two X's. You fucked us. Is there an X? 
Oh, we know. Okay, we only mark one X because we do know magnets. We know it's magnets. Yeah, but we do not have the key part, so we have to flip this card okay, back so over. So two. Yeah. God damn it. We're really good at puzzles, guys. Promise. Transforming cards. On this page of the book, yeah, challenge you temporarily place. change both the value and suit of these two cards at the same time using an object you have with you. We have a toy bunny, a mirror, a ticket, and a catalog page. Invisible ink. And our cool thing. Oh, and our cool thing, and this cool thing, and this cool thing. Perfect. No. It's the value and suit of these two cards. Look at this. Now it's, cl now it's clubs. Easy. Put this on there. Oh, now it's a. Now it's diamonds. Now it's diamonds, ish. <laughs> four and a seven. Oh, oh, four and a seven of diamonds. You're right. Am I? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's a ace. It's an ace and eight of diamonds, right? Yeah. Holy shit, I've never felt more alive. <laughs> oh! Yes! Put the opaque mirror shown to turn the card into an eight and ace of diamonds. If your answer is wrong, mark an X. My answer is not, I can't believe it. Honestly, I was just like fucking around. I was just like, maybe this will do something. Puzzle squad. The trick of telekinesis. To bend a spoon with telekinesis, you must put into a magic box that it stays bent without needing to touch it. Do not bend it by applying force. The spoon should automatically turn to straight once the trick is over. If you have a spoon, can you replicate this trick? No, I cannot. We don't have a spoon. No. All right. So moving on to a different, different. We thing. know it's not this one. We know how to do it because it's magnets. How do they work? We have the six plus nine equals seventeen. You heard a voice. voice. By pressing the green button, you hear a voice that says, the case will open only when all adds up correctly. You can probably use an item to change the formula. Seriously, though. No, no, no. Cut it in half. Three plus eight? No. Okay, yeah, three plus eight, like three plus nine, three plus nine equals 12. Oh my God, this is fucking with me. The problem is, is that uh, a half a bracket isn't a number. It's not, it's just close to a number. <laughs> Very close. Cause we, even if we do it the halfway with this one, right? It's still just like, Three plus, Three plus eight, eight equals, equals 17. 17. The three, I mean, but the three is also backwards too, right? Mm hmm. Is like, um, what's the a, other one? Equals 17. Done. <laughs> 17 does equal 17. It does actually equal 17. Just saying. That is not the answer. <laughs> so we need this to be an 8, really. Yeah. Can we do that by going like this? Just, just the 8. Ish. I mean, that does now look like an eight. It's just a little bit hard because it's like, eight plus nine does equal 17. It does. That's the only thing I can think of right now. Boom with telekinesis. <laughs> okay. Was there any reflection with the rabbit that we could play around with? Like if we. 
There's another one of those brackets again. Turn it around. Are we done? Oh, look at that motherfucker. That looks terrifying. That looks fun, whatever that is. Okay. <laughs> no fucking worry. <laughs> And you're like, Justin, just remind you, we're fucking timed. That looks like a three. Eight, three. Eighty-three equals eighty-one? That's what I'm seeing. But that's also unhelpful. Like, maybe it's a code for a different thing. Yeah, but... maybe. What did this, What what was the beginning of this? This was the... The, 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 this the guy. yeah. Okay. Oh shit, man! We only got twenty minutes left. Nervous. Inside of the chest, there's a magic formula. By pressing the green button, you hear a recorded voice say, "The case will open only when all adds up correctly." You should probably use an item to change the formula. Which item do you use to do that? I honestly cannot think of a different one. My only other thought is with this stupid freaking ticket yep um if you match the color the green like this is the only thing right yeah, the yeah, green yeah. button mm -hmm. but then like it doesn't give me anything because mm -hmm. it's just a nine a king a seven and a so we, we could we could try i don't i don't feel great about this one though because i feel like it's supposed to be like the whole thing's supposed to like you're supposed to be like aha you know but this doesn't feel like an aha everything else so far i'm like, yes. like that makes sense um we could go to the hint card i threw away and look at 50. You threw it away. This is your channel. I mean, this I'm, is your. That, no, this is just you passing issue. the blame. Absolutely. Because if, if I would just flip the card, I'd be like, "This is it." Then do it. All right. We were so close. We were so close. It was eight plus three equals eleven. It's so obvious when you just do it like fucking that. <clears throat> well. That fucking sucks. Okay, mark it the X. Oh, I'm so mad. We were like, obviously, this is it. Duh, it when needs it's to equal just... 17. That it, makes sense. That makes so I much sense. I swear we even did that. Yeah, we probably did. And we, and were, we were like, like that stupid, doesn't make sense. Stupid. Donk, donk, donk. All right. Um, we do have the opaque mirror. The chest opens. The chest finally opens inside. Life-size dummy is holding some kind of magnet in his hand. Or perhaps it's a key part. Let's card over to look at the key part. Hey, maybe we could open the Japanese box with that. Is this a magnet? No, there's no key on There's no magnet on this one. Damn. You check the dummy without finding any other useful stuff. You feel like something is missing here. What should be added to the dummy? Obviously, the rabbit. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> we put the rabbit in the man's hand. A hat? A cape? A handshake? I think the rabbit. Do it. Incorrect. No, no, no. no. Two X's. Two X's. My, so, my apologies. This is what happens. This is what happens when I let you just do whatever you want. Look at that. Five X's, Justin. That's on me. That one's on. This actually is a magnet. <laughs> it says magnet. Some kind of magnet in its hand. Or perhaps it is a key part. So we can open this now. We have the key. Uh, the catalog page contains instruction for opening the box. The front of the card shows the key part that contains the thing. Key part. Uh, it just said we had to have a magnet and a key part. We have key part. It says that here. Uh, all right, cool. Five X's, no problem. Yeah, we got this. We're gonna get no more X's. No more X's. The stars and stripes lighter. Flip this card to look at the lighter. Keep it for the whole game. It might be useful. Proceed to the next card. Oh, say a... can you caution? Do not flip this card. What? The drawer to the left contains a metallic box you take out. By touching the wrist of the drawer, you determine that there is an incision carved into the wood. You cannot pull the drawer out from the dressing room table, but you can peek at the incision using the opaque mirror. Do not flip this card and proceed to the next card. What? Anyway, the metallic box. To open the metallic box, you must look at the rear side of the drawer, the back of card 37. Um, using the opaque mirror, enter the number obtained by adding the digits carved into the wood. What is the total sum of these numbers? So we can look at it through only the mirror, yeah. right? Okay. Right, let's see if we can do this for with people at home. Zero, uh, four, zero, two, one. Or 
Or is no, that going to be a five? five? It's a five. So, because the four is backwards, so it's got to be a five. Because, yeah, like a four. <laughs> <laughs> a four backwards is this. That's a two. So, we just go like that. So, it's got to be a five then. Yeah. So, add up the digits. Is there only, how many digits are there? Oh, no, there's more. There's three on each row? Yeah. Oh, my God, Justin. Nine and three? What if we do this? Oops. Hey. Yeah, we can't go too far. I'm trying. All right, I'm so trying. we got 409. Yeah, and then the bottom is... One, one two, one, one five, 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 three. Okay. So the metallic box... Using a quick mirror into the number obtained by an impella digits carved in the wood. So the total sum of the numbers is 12, 16, 17, 22. I'll add it up again. Mm -hmm. 9 plus 9 equals 18, 19, 19 plus 3 is 22. All right. 19. Oh. <laughs> That's an E. It's not a 3. It also should have been flipped. They, they bamboozled us. They bamboozled us. Uh, we get an X. <sighs> they I mean, they did bamboozle us. They did. They bamboozled, they bamboozled us. us. We We're should have running been like, out of X. We should have been like the three, obviously. Yeah, well, it's 11 mm. o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's 11 11. Make a wish. I wish we get no more X's. A spoon. <laughs> yeah. You hope you find something useful, but inside is only a spoon. Why is the magician hinted it? Flip this card to look at the spoon and keep it for the whole game. It might be useful. It is. We have a puzzle where we need a spoon. The hidden buttons. There seems to be nothing else on the dressing table. However, you unscrew the bulbs on the top, discovering four secret buttons. You have seen... You've already seen one of these weird symbols. Have we? Which button do you press? It has to be the symbol depicted somewhere else in the room. Have we? Uh, the, the bunny? Bun bun? No. There's the arrow and the arrow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is the same. Same looking. Okay, we have the spoon as well, so we can even talk about replicating this telekinesis trick. It's literally the arrow. Just going the other way. But look. Okay, I'll press it. Because seeing it, right? I'll press it. Beep. Yes. You can see that has symbol on the poster hanging in the dressing room, com combining this information with the image on the poster. You see the reflected and therefore flipped horizontally in the mirror. You get the complete symbol. It's an arrow. Nailed it. Through the mirror, Lance Oldman, Magic Escape. By pressing the right button, the mirror slides down, revealing a secret compartment. There's an old poster of the magician here in a hat box with a label that reads, To open, clap your hands as many times as there are rings on the drawn on the poster. How many times do you clap your hands? What the fuck? Okay. Rings. So I'm, I'm stealing this. Do we count the O of Oldman? Yes. Okay. So is it just a ring and not a circle? Oh. Rings. So like these closed ones wouldn't count. I think these... And it's just on the poster. Yeah, but I think these are showing you where rings are. I'm going to wager because there's three circles. Yeah, there. but they're like not, they're the, a different color than the red ones that are on there. They are, but it might just be the shape. I guess the question is, yeah, is, uh, like, are we asking, like, is this a ring or is that two rings? I think right? those are two? one, two. I would agree. Or is it three or four? No, it's two. I think each well, like circle. But then, so there's red, white, and black. Oh, fuck, don't do that. So me. there's six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14? 14. So that's if these count as 3, but if they count as 2, there's only 12 then, right? Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So my gut would say that these count as two. I wouldn't count the white. Kay. That's what my gut says. I could be wrong, but I think they're trying to get you with, because I wouldn't even thought think about that one. So I think these were the two they're trying to get you with. So people would add up to 10, but they're going to be like, actually, motherfucker, there's 12, or they're going to be like, actually, motherfucker, there's 14. What do you want to do? I'll let you decide this one so I can pass the buck a little bit. No. All right, we'll be 12. <laughs> 14. Fuck 
fucking hell. Fuck. Fuck. Let Fuck. it be known. This is why you gotta take the lead because you're more right than me sometimes. Let it be get known. an X, get an X. Uh, yeah, it's the white. It was the white that we missed in the each eye. Oh, we missed them? You missed them. No, we missed them you together because miss them, we put the buck. We, it's both on both of okay, us. Okay, we have right. 13 minutes to solve this whole game. The magician's top hat. You clap your hands and wait a few seconds. It seems that nothing's going to happen, but at some point the hat box opens inside. You find an old hat. It's probably one of the flip this card, and it's a hat. We're going to put the hat with this one when we get a second. We already know. All right, Matt, the gramophone. You notice that the poster has a low cut angle. You tear to find a, a niche behind it with a vinyl records and a gramophone. Which record do you insert into the gramophone? No idea yet. Eyeball. He's looking at us. Hi. All right, I'm going to put the hat in the magician's hand because we know how that's how that works. Okay, but I think we still need this. Oh, one. sure. Yeah, good call. We put the hat on the dummy. We did it. They tried to fucking trick us with the hand. I know. They're, they're just, they're, they're gotcha on us. They don't like us. You have to put the hat on the head of the dummy, and this way the dummy matches the image on the magic chest as represented in the previous cards and in the dressing room. If your answer is wrong, mark an X. We, okay, we are good. We've already been here. Mm -hmm. Keep oh, going. Oh, it spells something? Yeah, it definitely does. What a fright. Holy shit. As soon as you put the hat on it, the dummy reveals his eyes and mouth and says, hello. hello. The four digits you have to read uh, are written on the yellow sheet. Which numbers do you say to the dummy? The yellow sheet? Are we there yet? No, I don't no. think we're there yet. Okay. I think it's this one. To bend a spoon with telekinesis, you must put it in a magic box so that it stays bent without needing to touch it. Do not bend it by applying force. The spoon should automatically return straight once the trick is over. No, Justin. Fucking idiot. <laughs> I swear to God. Ta-da. There's an X on there. And then when you take it out... Ta-da! I did it. Magic. Doing your magic. Magic! Bend the card with the spoon in the little box. And this way the spoon will remain bent without you touching it, but once removed from the box, it will turn to normal. White pages. The next few pages of the book are white. However, there seems to be something written that you cannot read. How do we, we need do fire. with the lighter? We're gonna burn it. You have to use the lighter to bring out what is written on the pages in visible ink. The catalog page explains how. We've nailed it. We're the best. We are. Guess the card. Okay, note that these are normal playing cards, but this deck of ten cards was prepared in a specific way before the trick. The page of the book shows a simple card trick. The deck was shuffled and a person, not an accomplice, was asked to randomly draw a card and secretly peek at it. Then you take the chosen card and return to the pile without looking at it. The person then shuffles the cards and finally they are revealed face up on the table. Which of the chosen card and how do you know? What? Oh, it's either going to be the five or the king. Why do you say that? Because they're the only two that don't have duplicates. Oh, no, just kidding. Well, yeah, no. Three, three, ace, ace, nine, nine, seven, seven. These are the only two that don't have a duplicate number. Okay. okay. Uh... Face up on the table. Like, I know that this is face up, but face would give me the king. I mean, I'm also looking at king because it's the only unique suit. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Good call, good call. So, like, it has the whole thing that you said where the fi like, there's no pairs. Yeah. But also it's the only one that doesn't match another suit. Correct. Shuffled. Do you think we need more information? Maybe. I'm gonna just uh, give this a big old read. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that is definitely something, right? So I'm looking at our bunny and this hat and trying to make them line up, but I don't know if they're supposed to or not. Well, it definitely looks like there's something. Like it kind of looks like it's supposed to be like backwards and then or something, I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be in the hat. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. 
Click. Click. It says click. Okay, we'll remember that. You solve a future puzzle. Click. Okay. Sorry. It's an old game, but the 10 cards was prepared in a specific way before the trick. Two nines, two aces, two sevens, two threes, and a five and a king. The page of the book is shown a simple card trick. The deck was shuffled. So this 10 card deck was shuffled. So that's to randomly draw a card and secretly peek at it. Then you take the chosen card and return to the pile without looking at it. The person then shuffles the cards and finally are revealed face up. Are you looking at this? So mad about the ring things. I should just trust. I should have just. Should have just trusted. <sighs> I don't know about this one. The only one that's jumping out to me is the King of Diamonds, but I, that might just be because of everything we talked about. It's got to be the King of Diamonds, because every other pair of suits, every other pair of cards, is heart and spades. So we're missing the five of the five of heart, right? Because everything else, the pairs, is a spade or a heart. Yep. Yeah. So it's got to be the king, right? I'm gonna just agree with you, man. I don't have everything. I don't know, man. So the person who was shown a simple card trick, the deck was shoveled, and the person was asked to randomly draw a card and secretly peek at it. Then you take the chosen card, return it to the pile without looking at it. The person then shuffles the cards, and finally revealed face up on the table, which is the chosen card, and how do you know? But I feel like the king one's also really obvious. Face. You know? Yeah. That's, I'm going to go with king. King of diamonds? It's probably wrong, but I'm going to go with it. Incorrect! It was the five. It was the other one. Uh, look at all the cards carefully, you know, deduce, uh, deduce that the deck is prepared so the majority of the suits, symbols, and match. When returning the chosen card to the deck, you rotate it at 180 degrees. Really? Even if it's shuffled, you can figure out which one of the chosen card is the one with the majority symbols pointing in the opposite direction compared to the other cards. Oh, that's just actually like a magician's trick. It is... Yeah, that's just a magician's trick. Wow, they actually, you know. Let's mark an X. Guess another card. Okay, we now know this. No, it's going to be different. Note, if you don't remember the details of the trick, take a look at the previous page. Warning, repeating a trick is always risky. <laughs> this page of the book shows the same trick as before, repeated with another person. Which card was chosen this time? So it's not going to be... So this one has five going up, this one has five going up, this one, these two each have five going down. I don't understand. I think it's the three of hearts. Nope. It's not. It's not the three of hearts, because that also has two going up. It's not the ace of hearts, but it also says repeating a trick is risky. So it's not going to be the exact same solution. These are like opposite. The hearts are on the top and on the bottom, but they're still going the same way. Yeah, the, the, the spades are also majority on the bottom still mm -hmm. for all of them. These ones are also flipped. Yeah. Right? So all the hearts are the same direction and all the spades are the same direction. So it's not that. It's the king! <laughs> <laughs> That's probably actually what it is. And it's gonna make me mad. Where's the previous trick? Right there. They're like literally the same cards, aren't they? Yep. They are. The seven and nines are the same direction. The three is the same direction. The five is also the same. The five is a different direction. Oh. Uh... 
So, so maybe something else is a different direction. The three is the same. Or the three of spades is the same. The seven of spades is the same. The three of hearts is the same. Ace of hearts is the same. The seven. Or eight and nine of hearts is the same. I meant. The king is the same, but that's because the king's always the same. <laughs> They're all the five's the only one that's different. I'm gonna be really pissed off if it is the exact same one. If it's just the king or just the five again? Because the five is it's This is how we lose. Mm-hmm. Also, like I think this is just like how we're trying to appease the magician. We're going to get too many X's and he's going to be like, just kidding, you suck. Mm -hmm. This is made for 12 year olds. I don't know. We don't know about the record either yet, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Did we figure out anything with this? No, man. Thing was messed here. You can try. Let's see if there's maybe an eye inside on the other side of this. No, I think it's there in there. is there is there's stuff there's in there, stuff but I couldn't find it. I think we might need a different card or something. Yeah, probably. Which numbers the the four digits you read are on the yellow sheet? So we don't have the yellow sheet either. Nope. So the yellow sheet's probably going to be in the record, right? Sure. So that means we're probably where we are. I think it's got to be this. Cause it's telling you like look at the thing but like there are arrows it's telling you which way the arrows are supposed to move i think in each what if of we those use the directions mirror? no look at this it's gonna say exactly what we need you are an idiot that is what it says no oh, i see it i see it yeah there's a little eye yep that's like you're dumb <sighs> Right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Wagner, Wagner, because Wagner is just the best. Oh, sure. <laughs> Which record do you insert in the gramophone? Six letters, six letters, five letters, five. No, six, six, six. They're all six letters. I'm done. So everything's the same for those. Want to hear my really crazy thought? Sure. Is that you can see the M and the A, and Mahler is the only one that has starts that? with it. Okay, okay. And it has the record in it. The only thing is there's definitely something in here. But there's a record in the Mahler Do we have one. to maybe fold this? No, because that's the same as the mirror, right? No, though. Do you see it? You see that it is the only one with a record in it. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, no. Chopin has one. It has a little record sticking out down at the bottom. Uh, Chopin? Trying to do Chopin? This. Yeah. That's, that's what I want to do when I see these hard puzzles. I liked them more when the puzzles were easier. I know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm stuck on both of these. This one's just the king again. We just take the X. I honestly will. It's ah, the it's the king. Yep. Why? Because it doesn't matter it, which way. No, it is. It doesn't matter which way. Yep. Okay, let's go. The magic carpet. The page of the book says you can use this carpet to create a four of spades. How do you create a four of spades on the page? Nope. Like that. No. No, Like that. Those are clubs anyway. This page of the book says you can use this magic carpet to create a four of spades. How do you create a four of spades on the page? I don't fucking know, man. We're stuck on this damn record one, too. It's gotta be this. It's just a question of how do we make it work? Fire. Alright, what if we just cheat and like try to look at what letters are in here? I don't think. I see a uh, B, see another a B. B, an L, a J, maybe, an I. Two Vs. That's not helping. 
Uh, mm. Notably, there's... Oh, it's pinned up there, so that's what that is. Okay, so what direction is this? I mean, it doesn't really say. It has to be this. This has to be our solution for getting here. For something, anyways. Yeah, but I have no idea. So I could go to the clue sheet. I threw it all the way over there. I've gotten up before. You threw it. I did throw you it. You did it. Oh, notably there's an X on all of these. Very, very, very faintly there's an X. Not on this Not one. Not on that one. No, no, wait. There oh, it is. Oh, it is faintly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. You can definitely see it if it's like in the light. So that might just be like a texture thing. It could be. Or... It's part of a big puzzle. Who knows? I feel like we still haven't gotten this one. No. Okay. Magic carpet to create a four of spades. Did it work? Oh. What if? Oh, that's so cool. Wow. I want you to know that we are now three minutes over. That's okay. It, it's a card. We have to use a card on this. It's card sized. It's telling me to, what if we use all the cards together and just really fuck it up? Let's go! It's gibberish. Mmm. I just want to click the thing that we have to click, you know? Yeah, I know, right? That one's just like taunting us. Which numbers do you say to the dummy? All right, I'll grab the clue card. Oh no, it's happening. What number is this? I don't know. 43. The grammar phone? Grandma phone? Okay, the clue didn't help. <laughs> It was look at the drawing on the mysterious package. Love it. So just look at it better. It Jeez. really is just look at it better, huh? Yep. It, yeah, it's just like, hey, don't be an idiot. Yeah, Justin, try harder. That's what it's saying. Okay. I think... Here's my crazy thing. It's either going to be... It's not him. Chopping? Yeah, because this, I think, this V is either going to be an M, an, an M, a W, or a Z. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's him. The problem is I actually don't know how to look at this, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's telling us. Maybe it's a seeing eye thing. Oh, I'm, I'm awful at those. I am too. Oh, shit. So... Let me just... Yeah, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to just, <laughs> like... I don't even know. You're supposed to, like... Nope. Okay. <laughs> That's not Let it. Let me try. Oh. Whoa. Uh. I don't see anything, man. Uh, what if I come in this way? What if it gives us numbers, though? No, it's supposed to be on the yellow sheet. Wow, this does nothing for me. <laughs> A low cut angle. I don't know. I don't know. Do you want to say Mahler because it has the record in it and we just mark the X? Cause I actually, I can't, I can't do this one. I can't. I think I'm just gonna try and find that sheet for this one before we ripped it. Do we have it? Like 42? Um, where, is that what number it is? Yeah. <laughs> 42 is the magician's hat. It's the circle one. Yeah, I just need to know the solution to that. Is there like 43 part two? Nope. 
because I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea for this one. I don't know. I mean, but we Justin, have Justin. Anyone can do this game. We have a five. We have a one in five shot. So all twenty percent's not great. No. All right, here we go. To clap your hands fourteen times. What the frick does that mean, though? The hell is this? That's the hat box. Is it? Yep. That's what the hat was in. Because that's 41, the hat was 42. Mm. I mean, we have everything we need right here. We just can't do it. We don't know either if you need to do a trick with your eyes or... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to take a wild shot. We're going to go... That's a C. That's a C. That's a C. That's an L. That's a V. Oh, uh, I, I, why don't we just shoot our shot? We'll go with Mahler. Let's do it. It's Mahler. Let's go. Why? This is the only name that does not appear on the back of the pack. Okay, I'll believe you. You can read the names of the four other composers by tilting the pack and looking at it from different points of view. Mm, oh, yeah, I see Wagner. I can read it. I can't. You gotta, like... <laughs> You gotta like, bend reality. No, legit. Uh, let's see, where did I see Wagner? If you look at it like straight on. Okay, let me try. Like I that. Just... Read here. Like these are letters. Each line is a letter. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like really messed up. That's fucked. But... I would. I don't think I ever would. Well, good call though with Mahler. <laughs> All right. We don't mark an X somehow. Somehow. All right, the magician's tablet. After you place the record on the gramophone, music starts to play. A few months later, the same melody resonates from a corner of the dressing room. You follow it to find a hidden tablet. It is turned on, but the display does not work well. Which one of these eight icons do you press? Ooh, are you ready? Okay. Okay, so uh, it, turns into, it turns into cards. Like you can see, look, it yeah, actually, every like, that's card. so fucking cool. That's pretty fucking neat. What? Uh, that's, too great. that's crazy! That, that's killing me, man! What the hell? Do you need a minute? Yes! That's like, what the fuck? Okay, I need you to do that and call out the cards that you see. Okay. Uh, it, I'm gonna see a Queen of Spades. Okay. I will see, uh... I'm just trying to see where to start. Uh, give me a Queen of Clubs as well. And a king of clubs. Or king of... Yeah. King of no, that's a king of... Clubs? It has to be. Yeah, so queen of spades as well. Yeah, and king of clubs. Uh, That is a ten of spades? Mm-hmm. A uh, king of... A king of clubs? We have that one already? Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a... Oh my god, it needs to be perfect. We have a ten of hearts. Or a nine of hearts. Nine of hearts. Do you have the ten of spades already? We have. We did that one? Mm-hmm. What still do we not have? So we have the seven of clubs, the... Seven of diamonds, diamonds and the eight of hearts. Um, can you look at the dots, like the yeah. little doodly doos there? We have a key. Okay. We have a bell. Bell. We have a magnet. Okay. We have an apple. Okay. We have a clover. Okay. We have a lightning bolt. Okay. We have a. We have all of them. Yep. Okay. Is it maybe? The eight icons, so... So we only have to press one of them. Which one has, like, the most... This one has four. This one has three. This one has three. It's probably the one that this has one four. This one has three. Well, then this one has four. So, like, this one has four. And that this one has, one has four. four. The other ones have three. Maybe I'm missing one. I'll go through again. What 
So are those are the only two with four? Mm, no, there should be, yeah, these, these ones. It's either the key or the music note. Just trying to like, I haven't seen a single seven. It's so tricky. Well, I haven't seen a diamond at all. Okay, so maybe it's this guy, but then that gives us four dots or things to press. Yeah. I think maybe the diamond might be a free space. <laughs> <laughs> and that one's the nine. It's the same thing as over and over. There's no sevens. That's the nine. No sevens. That's a nine. That's a ten. Yeah, it's the same things over and over. So those are all the ones in it. I can't see a seven in there at all. Because that's a nine. So maybe it's the only one that... No, because we also don't have the nine. Oh, we also don't have an eight. Yeah, so it's these ones. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to cover it with that. Yeah, sure, sure. That's fucked. That's crazy. Such a cool trick. It is. I see a club. Do you see that? I do. That's the king of clubs, I think. Oh, right. I yeah. thought that it was seven. I don't know, man. Which one of the eight icons do you press? I don't know. I feel like the only one that makes sense would be the... The clover. Even though it's not a club. Because it's the only one that's represented on there in any way, you know? I mean, this one only has three, right? Because we don't have an eight. Right. Yeah, it's three. This one has four here, and this one has four here. Huh. I don't think it's any of these ones, because we don't have the diamonds. I also don't think it's this one, because we don't have that. I don't think it's the clover, because we don't... I think it's we're looking for the ones that we have all of, but we have all for two of them. Which are the key and the music note. The music note. Which... This was from the music note? This is from the gramo gramophone yeah. area? So maybe it's that one? Yep. Yeah. So, here, I'm just going to go through this thing one more time. Because the difference between the two is the king of clubs and the nine and the ten. It's the king of clubs and the queen of spades. So maybe they're actually... No, but there's a queen of spades in both of them. Yeah, they're all the same queens and all the same kings, right? Yeah. Honestly, I would go gramophone just because we, the music note, because we have the gramophone. I, yeah, that's where I'm at. Alright, and maybe we don't know why. Press the music note button. Okay, by placing this on the black striped card, you can see four different playing cards. Look at the ticket of the show, you can see that these four cards have been placed around the gray button. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's four different cards. It's four cards. This one only had three of the, three. They match, but there's only three of them. Okay, okay. I'm taking that. Access denied. You press the gray button, click. the screen changes, but the tablet is not. Which of these two buttons must you press? It's click! Ooh, or is it both? Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, that one says, that one says click. Can it also say power? 
I can't do it on that. I don't think so. Um, this way. So we got click. click. No. I don't think so. Unless maybe we go this way. It's just oh. click. All right, click. Press the click button. Let's go. The picture is the best that you should think about the classic magician's trick, the rabbit in the hat. If you roll out the hat and the plastic club bunny, it says click. If your answer is wrong, no, we're good. The view from above. The tablet is finally unlocked, and it shows the table down, a top-down view of the room you're in. There must be a hidden camera. From the angle, you realize that there's something on the chandelier. Um, flip this card and look at the key part. Keep it. Oh, we got it. Two key parts. All right. Okay. How do we create a four spades and we have the yellow, the yellow sheet, which we still don't have. You can use the magic, this magic carpet to create a four of spades. By drawing on it? <laughs> Don't worry. The magic mirror is here. And it's going to do absolutely nothing. Wow. Don't worry. The magic thing is here. Oh, look at it go. Okay. We're 20 minutes. Oh, oh. Spades. Is it spades or clubs? Those oh, are spades. That's it. We did it. Four spades. Nailed it. Honestly. It is. I agree. But yep. uh Four is the club clubs putting them together. Yes. High five. We got a key. <laughs> as soon as you saw the last trick, the book commits a series of metallic clicks. The secret compartment on the side opens inside find a small key. Uh, flip this card over the key part. Do we open the door? I mean, we can. I think we might need two to get to this. Brick wall. Oh. Here's the yellow paper! Yep. Uh, you finally open the door and discover that behind is a wall. You cannot pass to find a piece of paper stuck in full strange squiggles. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a lot of strange squiggies. You have to read the numbers. Ah, yes. You know what to do. Those okay. are lots of numbers. Get the magic thing. See if the start there. Wow. Look at all these numbers. Give me this. What do we got here? Not a goddamn thing. Oh, yeah, those all look like numbers to me. How about you? Anything? Four digits you have to read her on the yellow sheet. What the hell? La 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 I don't know. This is like one of those brain thingies. It's like, what do you see? Yeah. I see. I see strife. I see terror in your eyes. The talking dummy with his creepy teeth. All right. Could it just be the uh, each? No. Hmm? <laughs> it's not. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Hear me out. This is a rectangle. This is a rectangle. Oh, wait, to put card on? Maybe, but like they're too small. Uh, three. Yeah. Eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, let me do this. Yeah, Here, yeah. we got. We got eight, and then this one is five. five. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The next one is three. Three. And then the last one is zero. All right, eight, five, three, zero. Here's hoping. Any order. Any order, thank God. All right. Uh, they're on the yellow sheet, six of diamonds. Viewers, uh, we got it. The Heaven's Door. 
The magic chest slides to the side and there's a secret passage. The passage leads to a small room where there was a wardrobe and a door you immediately opened. Are you in the sky? Examine all previous cards in order. Where are you exactly? What previous? All of them? We're flying. Oh, we're on the we're on stage. We're flying. Right? Like this is the Are we underneath the stage? Because there is a, here's the wire. Yeah, I know, but are we looking directly up? Like, is this door on the yeah, ceiling? Yeah, I think we're under, I think so. Creep. I think so. But that doesn't make any goddamn sense. That's the crazy thing, huh? The door's actually, I think the door's actually in here. No, it's not. <laughs> no, because this is the door that leads to a brick wall. Yeah, but we, what? That's the same door, son. No, because it was revealed behind this. Son. The magic chest slides to the side. Shunk. Oh, it's behind this. What? That's wild. Where are you exactly? I think we're underneath. I think we're underneath. This is strange. It is on this side, yeah. Uh, okay. That looks weird. That's strange. I think we're just look. We're under. We're underground. We're under this. We're underground. Hello, keep? The trap door? Yeah. But that doesn't make any goddamn sense. It doesn't, but that's the fun part. Because, it's magic. Because that would mean that this is actually like this. Yeah, which is fucking nuts. It's magic. So are we under the mysterious passage? Some of the cards. I don't want to look at all the cards. <laughs> I'm not looking at all the cards. I think... I would agree, but it's strange. It is strange. I say we're under the stage. Trap door. It says heaven's door, which yeah. means you'd be up higher, wouldn't it? But we're also, we're like, we can see the moon. Are we, uh, we also have this wire here, which makes me think that this is the wire that was like that we're we were flying, flying on. on. So we're in the sky. We're in the, we're, in, we're in the sky. We'll just say that. We're flying. On the roof? On the roof. You're on the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? The right side of the card on 54 is the same color. It's fucking thing. Yeah. And we it's are. all of the cards that I've been like, hey, bitch, what yeah. are all these weird goddamn biddies about yeah. on the top? You need to make like an actual... <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate it. That's that is so a, funny. That is the worst. But it's hilarious, but it's the worst. No, so. we would have been able to erase an X if we actually did it. God That's so it. funny. Well, now we get an X. We're on the roof. Just kidding. There's a strong steel cable stretching to the sky. It is linked to something, but you cannot see properly through the darkness and the fog. The oxygen and the wind coming through the door, feeling the fire and the smoke is now invading the entire room. There is no more time. You are too high to jump down from the door. How do you escape with only a few seconds? We take the coat hangers and zip line down. Or the unicycle. Yeah. Well, this fun hat. I would zip down with the close. The close. Let's do it. You have to take a metal coat hanger and use a slide along the cable. The unicycle is too difficult to maneuver as the cable is too steep. The fabric of the jacket would not hold your weight. The boy's hat with a fan does not allow you to fly for real. Good to know. Thank you. Noted. All right, we got that. Oh, my God. With your heart in your throat, you hang from the cable and start to slide down very fast. You find The Statue of Liberty is the biggest plot twist in the world. It's I so know, funny. I'm so confused. You finally find out the room is safe in the fire. However, you're taking much, much speed. Now you're crashing at the end of the cable. What do you do? Die, I guess? I would just like let go and land in the water because she's on an island, right? That's what I would she? do. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. Either that or the toy bunny. Just let go. <laughs> so oh, the solution on, on the previous the card. Thing. The huge marquee for the theater is at the end of the cable. Your only chance is crash into the... Th uh, yeah, we got that right. Holding your breath, you let yourself fall into the void before the impact. Your fall is very fast but seems to last forever. The uh, Before recording the mark, the current time on the sheet. No. <laughs> we got... 11.53 a.m. Oh, this is fine. You, clad, you close your eyes, stretch your muscles, and boing, boing, boing. The tent is very flexible and makes you bounce several times. You're feeling a sense of relief. You're still alive. However, you suddenly hear a disturbing noise. Rip. <laughs> the tent is torn apart by your weight. You fall into the void. No, you fall into oh. the void. Thank you for the dramatic <laughs> reading. You land on something soft. Even before you realize what's going on, you hear a roar of clapping hands around you. You landed on a soft carpet right in the middle of the stage. The magician says out loud, Ladies and gentlemen, the trick of flight. The curtain closes, leaving you alone with the magician. The crowd goes crazy, and you can still hear the applause on the other side of the curtain. 
The magician congratulates you and tells you that the envelope with the tickets, the axe on stage, and the fire were all part of a gigantic magic trick. While you're trying to get out of the dressing room, hidden cameras were filming you. Mm, yes. The audience and theater followed your efforts on giant screens. Ah, the giant screens that were there. While you're performing magic tricks and attempt to leave the room. Distracted by the flight, no one noticed that the dressing room was actually an elevator going up, slowly from the basement of the torch of the Statue of Liberty. The fire and smoke were part of the trick, but so alarming that we're pushing you to do something crazy. Jump in the void and fly on the stage. Safety devices will be put into operation if something went wrong. Okay, sir. I believe you. Now count how many minutes it took you to play the game. Add five minutes for each X marked. Oh, God. Uh, okay, well, so we one, lost. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have 45 minutes on top of our almost 90 minutes. So uh, it needs to be improved. Still shocked and speechless, you exit the theater. It was definitely the most exciting magic show you've ever attended. The magician has performed his latest and greatest trick of all time, or maybe not yet. You turn around to look at the theater one last time, and the Statue of Liberty in the background winks back at you. Terrifying. What the fuck? We did it! We did it. That and was an experience. Yeah, I, I, mean, I actually enjoyed it. I did too. I think there was uh, there was only like I think the Statue of Liberty was the only one that was like fuck off. But mostly like, just because of the the time it would have taken to do. Right, you know? that would have definitely put us over over yeah. over. But I mean, I definitely was looking at all of these earlier and was like, hey, yeah, there's something here. There's something. Um. These these were really cool. I think they were really creative with mm -hmm. the special ones for these. Those were really sick. Mm -hmm. I would I would play one of these again, but well, I have to play with I don't know, maybe someone smarter. <laughs> Is this the end of Puzzle Squad? Never. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that's also your answer. Yeah, you probably no. play it again with someone smarter. No, I would smarter. only play it with you because honestly, I think everyone else would do worse than this. That's it's the crazy thing. Very true. Very we're true. I, we are we're pretty good at puzzles. I think the problem is that uh, if we were playing without recording, I think we would take more time too. Mm. There's also like the pressure of being like, hey, we can't spend 20 minutes in silence looking at all the cards, right? Yeah, that's that, true. That definitely um, definitely changes things. Mm -hmm. So like, really subtract. 70 minutes from our 90 or, not, or 100 minute score and we're, we did we killed it we killed oh yeah it. that's what that's two stars yeah hell yeah yeah well thanks for watching everybody uh have a good one and as always a ggs oh yeah puzzle squad puzzle squad out Whoa!